Hi guys, Ru here with another bit for Blender and this one we're gonna talk about how you can make a glass shader visible in viewport in object mode. Okay, so let's grab a cube and we're gonna apply a mat to it. So let's just open new material and we're going to change it to glass. Yeah, now we're gonna open our uh, our uh, shader editor and we're gonna have to have some fun with notes right so let's move this one select this move it here and right click and hold control and right click and move your mouse like this and you're gonna slice this note to remove it and we're gonna have to add a few notes okay so we're gonna add a fresnel uh we're gonna get to add an input which is gonna be responsible for the value of the um uh, IR value of the glass, so 145. And then we're going to add, uh, let's, let's just connect these two. And also we need to plug this value to IR value here. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to add the color ramp. So color ramp. All right. And we're going to change the factor to change factor to zero here okay and uh, let's just drop it a little bit here uh, this should do and again change factor to zero there we go and then let's grab a transparent uh, transparent bsdf and drop it in here the color doesn't matter really here but you know we could just drop, drop it down a bit just make it a bit darker so something like that and we need a mix shader to combine these two. Okay, so mix shader to combine these two. And we're gonna plug uh, this transparent in here and we're going to plug this one in here. And what well, doesn't matter really, but uh, it's kind of ugly. I want to redo this. I have OCD guys, can't help it. Plug this one here. And then we're gonna plug color to factor. Right? So this factor is going to be taking care of these values and shader to uh, surface. Well, nothing happened because there's still a few things we need to adjust. Okay, We need to go to viewport visibility. That's important. And we need to change the uh, uh, opaque uh, blend mode value to um, alpha blend. And here, switch to some metallic and uh, change the color uh, alpha value to, you know, maybe 50%. And boom, there you go. There's your glass. And also, uh, let's just reduce the roughness to, you know, some really small value so it's kind of reflective. So now to prove that this is actually transparent, what we're going to do is uh, let's shift DDs and uh, let's uh, make it smaller. Uh, remove the mud from the cube and it's something, you know, I don't know, something new. Maybe something flashy or emission. Well, emission is not going to be visible because we're in object mode, but, uh, you know, we can just change color to color and viewport to something different so a uh, viewport visibility color let's make it blue there you go so there you go there's your glass so that's pretty cool if you want to preview some uh you know interesting stuff in in blender and uh, you know let's say constructing some kind of uh, i don't know like a sci-fi um you know sci-fi um tube or like uh, some cylinder right and you you have some loop in here going on in the middle like this right? and let's just set bevel and then you want to inset this inside so you can use here macro with uh, hard ups this bevel is a little bit too big so make it a bit smaller and then grab these and you know shift the curve extract right make it a bit bigger and then simply uh, add this material so we're gonna steal the material from here and boom right you got a glass yeah it's pretty cool but uh if you are lazy like me and you want to uh, do it with one click because i actually stole this note tree from hard ops you're gonna be using hard ops because that's where it came from it's basically material uh, developed by uh, guys from hard ops so if you want to add glass in your viewport with literally two clicks you press alt m and shift click on that material and you got glass and that's why we use hard ups. So anyway, guys, link to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. And if any one of you starts bitching about not having money to buy hard ups, well, 
then I created two videos on how to make money with Blender, one of them uh, with a bit of an investment and the other one without any investment. So no excuses, yeah? Thanks for watching. Catch you next one.